All right, this is a s optional s cutscene between Toa and Goro. There, done. Miss Kokonoe, is this okay? Yes, that's fine. Toa, I mean Miss Kokonoe and Mr. Goro. Well, I guess you did mention that you had work in the computer lab. Is this a project with Mr. Goro? Huh, well, I had planned doing it by myself, but Mr. Goro was kind enough to offer his help. Uh, it's nothing. I just happened to pass by. She looked like she could use a hand carrying in these new terminals. New terminals? Yep, we're selling high-spec machines this year. In this day and age, it's crucial to have modern hardware. If students can use state-of-the-art equipment here, then they can put those skills to work outside. Uh, Miss Kokonoe teaches computer classes in addition to math. She's been having the vice principal to get us outfitted with new stuff since she started. She worked long and hard adjusting the budgets to make this possible, and she did it all for you kids. And everyone's just probably going to use it to play uh, games. I had no idea. Uh, it's nothing. I just hoped I'd be best to have these in place before we get to the main part of the lessons. I'm glad you were around to help, Mr. Goro. Uh, my pleasure. That's what we teachers do for each other. There's only about half of them left, so let's get this done. Well, let me help too. Since I'm already here, anyway. Uh, thanks, Ko. Oh, you didn't drop by specifically to help? Of course not, I just happened to pass by. After that, Mr. Goro and I split up the remaining work while Toa set the terminals up once they'd been moved. Wow, seeing it all in place looks pretty cool. By the way, what's that big thing over there? That's what will be the main that's what will be the main machine here in the lab. It'll be the central unit for the entire classroom and provide additional processing power. That's all Greek to me, but it sounds like it must be pretty powerful. Uh, just a few more terminals and we'll be good to go. Well, Miss Kokonoe, I'll take my leave. Goodbye, Tokisaka. Yeah, bye. Thank you very much. Oh, now Goro's in the clubhouse. Hmm, I can always do this event later. The eclipse that popped up last month was connected to the shopping street. Taka's trumpet? How would it turn up? Tokisaka? It's nothing. Let's keep going. No need to get S rank or anything. What's been pulled to the eclipse is deep within. Clear the stage and head to the goal. Hmm. Also, essentially, can I use... Learn the language of felines, huh? They've gotta be kitten. Just how serious are they about all this? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a whirl if the perfect situation comes up. Huh. Never thought I'd see that side of her. Anyways, I better do all this off screen. Oh, man. Not my, one of my favorite dungeons. Do, especially due to those damn skeletons. Alright, made it through. It's a lot easier now that Sora can just punch the weaker zombies. She, it's best to weaken them a little bit before punching them uh, with her power strike, though. That way you can skip their uh, super fast phase. Hey, isn't this a trumpet? <laughs> I knew it'd be in here. It belongs to someone I know. Oh, really? Sometimes things from the real world can find their way into the eclipse. That explains the treasure chest. For example, things you thought you just misplaced, or people who just kind of disappear. I see. Seems like the eclipse is closer to the most people than they know. Yeah, it's, it's just that we never noticed it until, until now. Whatever the case, I need to return this to Taka later. And of course I'm gonna try the lottery, and I highly doubt I'm gonna win it. Oh, freeze not bad. Blue Mountain Beans. Okay, where is he? Shopping Street. Taka, I found it! This is my grandfather's trumpet. It seems to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Ko. It was in a really weird place, but I'm glad I was able to track it down. 
Oh really? Thank you so much. I know, take this with you. Tofu. It's a new recipe I learned from my grandfather. But you gave me ingredients, not a recipe. I got the recipe somewhere else, actually. Please try it out. This looks good, thanks. <laughs> I should be the one making you. I can finally focus on my work again. I need to start working harder to make the store a success. I have to make up for lost time. Yeah, good luck, Taka. Ooh, 300 gems. Now I got my fr friendly level up. I should go report in. Thank you for your help today, Ko. I can actually focus on the work again. I swapped out the shop for something sturdier so I won't lose it again. Now that I have it back, I need to start attracting customers to buy my grandfather's tofu. Yeah, shopping street isn't the same without the sound of the horn. Do you have any new items? No, just ingredients. Yeah, I got, I got the voice item uh, so that all my Niar uh, notifications will sound like Rion. Alright, I have six stars now. That means I only need two more for the true ending. That's a surprisingly merciful threshold, isn't it? Good job. 3,000 yen. Technically above her, so I expect you to live up to your role as a mentor. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I better run away while I can. Okay, let's check out Memorial Park. Huh? There's a cutscene? Cut Morimiya Memorial Park. It's been a while since I came just to just to just hang out and relax. The air always seems so clean here. Here. Even though it's not the first time we've been here, he still wanted to give an introduction speech, huh? Morimiya Memorial Park in the city center is known for its abundant greenery and clear lake. There's a cafe where visitors can buy tasty snacks and refreshing drinks. At the right of the park is a skate park, where you can play mini games using a skateboard. If you clear a course, you can win a prize, so why not give it a whirl if you have a chance? Oh no. Anything requiring good reflexes is not my forte. Morimiya Memorial Park is pretty sweet here. Unlike the s at the station, I can really let loose here. I can put on one hell of a show here. Yeah! Hi, yeah! Futa, you're running too far ahead. I can't get you the ball. Gah, gah, I got hurt! Shogo, heal, heal! Okay, I heard you. Hold on, I'll be there in a sec. I've known Fuda since kindergarten. He's kind of brash and likes playing pranks all the time, but he's a good person. And he's my best friend, despite getting me into tr always getting me into trouble. Hey Fuda, did you bring your homework with you this time? If you forget a gown, our teacher is going to get mad at you, you know. I uh, don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Oh, I can copy your homework again, right? You should at least try to do some of it yourself. You're not listening to me, are you? Boat. I really wanted to attend Spica's concert today. But I had to attend class today, the ticket went on sale, and I wasn't able to snag one. The competition for Spica tickets is getting fiercer each year. Hmm. Someone on a skateboard. Yo, you having fun? I'm gonna st uh, stop this trick, watch! Gah! I couldn't catch up to this guy, no! I'll just have to wait for him to come around the other side. Wherever he is. Maybe I should give the skateboard thing a, tri a try too. I just hope the controls aren't messed up due to me swapping out oh, 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 my controller setup. Skate park is up ahead. There's always a group of guys getting there until it's too dark to see. Seems as packed as always. Oh, it's Tokisaka! Oh, it's the guy from the cafe! Hello, Mr. Ichima. Hello there, I take it you're still into skateboarding? I remember you coming here with your friends before. Huh? Eh, well, I was still in middle school. I was never really all that good, so I stopped. You're in charge of the skate park now, right? Yeah, the city wanted me to take care of it along with the boat rental store. Well, if you ever get 
a bit a bit by the bug again. Feel free to come by any time. We don't have a skateboard. We can we rent them out. Also, you can win prizes by clearing the course. Oh really? Uh, sure, if I get the time. Alright, head to skate park. Rust skateboarding. Conditions of luck. Reach goal within the time limit. Obtain the required number of flags within the course. Perform a predetermined number of tricks in a trick area. What are the controls? A to advance, B to jump. Okay, Ollie. B. Slaloms. Accelerate while uh, rolling by alternating left and right. What? Challenge point, we get up to speed by pushing A, maintain speed by shalaming. What? That's so weird. So I have to rock L back and forth? Be at trick areas. What does a trick area look like, the red circles? Press B at ramps to perform a boost. No. I don't think I can go there. Let's retry it. Shoot. Problem is A and the problem is B is located next to A, so I can't just press both easily and keep up my speed. I see. If I already have enough speed, I I can just use L to maintain it. Good enough. Okay, looks like you're getting the hang of it. Here's the price for saying a more than decent time. Hiyobi! This is... this is an element. Oh yeah, I picked up a few of those things while walking around recently. I thought they were rare pretty, so maybe I could give them out as prizes. I don't know if they're actually worth anything or not, but if you want them, they're yours. If you're sure, then gladly. But really, come back anytime. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Let's return for now. I need to take a look at this one. Was it... what's so good about it? Hmm. More attack power at max hit points. Interesting. Since I already have Adamantine, I might as well give it a shot. All I have to do is not get hit, huh? Or at least keep my hit points high through item usage. Any other... ...courses? No. Oh well. Alright, I got you, running man. You can't escape. I'm an accountant. It might not seem like it, but I'm actually incredibly busy all the time. I'm also part of the team responsible for auditing the various city departments. However, with so many companies headquartered in the commercial district, revenue isn't a problem. And everyone's honest about their finances, so things are easy to keep track of. This, is fr this fresh crepe is an original recipe I created. Three kinds of fruit are covered in lemon-infused whipped cream. It's both refreshing and flavorful. Come now, young man. Why not try one? Hmm. What a suspicious looking person. There were so many discarded plastic bags in the area that I felt it is it my duty to pick them up. The world has become a much more convenient place to live, but this price of casual consumerism. It makes me wonder if our current abundance of goods is a blessing or a curse. Rampage has been updated. Run people in the city. Hmm. 
John is a rough collie. It's a breed that was developed to excel at herding sheep. That's why he gets really stressed out if he doesn't get enough exercise. He really likes taking long walks in the morning and early evening. He also likes to, uh, uh, to eat a lot. Chili dog and mushroom pasta. Wind blows through the grass, the first budding green of spring, the coming of May. The Memorial Park holds events throughout the year. It's a great place to enjoy the seasons. The next major is the annual summer festival. You should really try you should really should try to make it. Memorial Park Grove. I don't suppose I could go there someday. Hmm. Someone over there. I recently moved here in April. I don't have any friends yet, and my mom is always busy with work. I wish she was here. This looks like at least an apartment building. I don't have any reason to go there right now. Okay. So that's it for Shopping Street, Gokunoe Shrine, and the park, and... The room. Brick Alley next. During a Tokyo earthquake 10 years ago, the Br Brick Alley and some other districts were badly damaged. A of the buildings were rebuilt and others were retrofitted to meet current building codes. My fellow architects and I never want to have to go through something like that again. Brick Alley has a ton of cute stores. I've been in Morimiya two years now with my mom and they keep finding new places. It's fun just to walk around. I just bought a really fashionable blouse from Boutique Nomad. Can't wait to wear it. Alright, I'll submit my manuscript and head on over to Acros Tower. The Municipal Art Museum exhibit is happening in Brick Alley. I should do a report on it. Oh, the commode. You can only appreciate the differences in roast by drinking your coffee black. With, de with dessert, I guess it's okay to add milk, but I recommend just drinking it straight up. We have f a food and dessert menu chosen to complement our coffees. If you make a reservation, we can also design a special pairing meal for any special occasion. I don't have any new things to buy here. Nothing here. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. Carnations are great for Mother's Day. Red is traditional, but people have been choosing other colors. If you can't decide, you can pick your mother's favorite color or go with some form of floriography. I don't have anything new here. Boutique Nomad. Oh, June has one. I like the stuff here, but the owner's kinda like a tiger chasing after its prey. I get genuinely scared. Clothes are like makeup. Have fun looking for the you you haven't found yet. Everyone is lucky to be born into this world. It'd be a waste if you don't stretch your wings. Some options might not fit you, of course, but it's your decision in the end. It's something I stand by. Nothing new here. Hmm. Should I buy this costume item? Lennon Spectacles. Yeah. I'll talk to him later once I start going through everyone's <laughs> events. What the? The delivery person will be here soon. I'll leave the rest to you. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. There hasn't been an event like this in town for a while, so I'll be sure to make it work. I guess it has to be a success. Heh, <laughs> you seem quite motivated, but don't overwork yourself. That gallery seems to do events from time to time. Seems like there's another event going on. I wonder if they're doing th what they're doing this time. Uh... Speaking of which, I wonder if he's eating right. She know Mia? What's wrong? Uh, nothing at all. I was just thinking out loud. They're just chewing out the uh, chewing the breeze. Let's, I'll leave. Let's leave them at it. 
Seriously? Ugh! I can't talk to them! Was she the girl talking- uh, uh, Was she Yu's sister? The one asking him if he was eating something other than frozen food? Boutique Nomad primarily stocks merchandise aimed at young people. Well, I'm sure that if I asked, Kaoru would add foreign brands to the mix. He's a lifesaver for sure. And done. Realistic and cool. How's this? Well, I mean, even though I look far more handsome than this, you can still tell it's me. It almost looks like I had plastic surgery, but really, it came out better than I imagined. And I'm glad you like it. Looks nothing like you. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions. The anticipation is almost overwhelming. I was half joking about being drawn cool, but this is amazing. Her skills are real. I wish I'd change her uh, what was on her portrait every time you talk to her, uh, every time you revisit her in new chapters. That would have been a pretty nifty feature. Oh, it's you! You're early today. Ready to start your shift then? Huh? I thought I was supposed to work at the bar today. I was just messing with you. You always have the best reaction, so it's always fun to tease you. My god, you're so. Putting that aside for now, this is a nighttime gig, so you know the drill, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know once I'm done. Perhaps, so as the one recommending you for the jo these jobs, I have an obligation to manage you. I don't care how late it is, I want you to call me. Got it. Listen well, mind you, always report to me once you finish the job, capiche? Aside from that one little detail, you have absolute freedom. Enjoy! <laughs> oh! Rare items. Remorse swing. Hmm. Furious Fang. The nearest store is here. Nomad Cradle Coffee Shop. And whoever- and who's at the end there? Just in, that NPC I talked to before. Hmm. Alright, show. Right show has a cool vibe to it. I mean, it's where people come to have fun. Of course, since it's noon on a weekday, the place is there than disco. Horaicho is Morimiya's entertainment district of many bars, nightclubs, and pubs, especially with people at night. The gig is at a cafe slash bar today, but there are a bunch of other businesses around as well. I can't do the job until I finish Asuka's side quest. Arcade Oasis has several mini games to enjoy. You can exchange the medals for prizes. The pawn shop Daikokudo is where you can barter for rare items. There are many facilities in town that you can use to your advantage. Gems can be exchanged at these locations. What? Oh, only when it's mar marked. I think. I don't know. I'm trying to constantly check shop information on Niar. So many stores. Hmm. Pawn shop person might be involved with Eclipse as well. A car. God, I drank too much yesterday. That sleazy pervert was obviously trying to get me drunk. But I made a small fortune thanks to him. You're a friend now. What about you? If you're going out for a few drinks, why not have them poured by, uh, poured by cute girls? If that sounds like your thing, uh, come to Girls Bar Angel. I wasn't sure at first, but that's definitely a Morimiya Academy uniform. Got tissue, pa uh, got tissue pack advertising Angel. Come by once you're old enough. Well, assuming we're still in business, then. Well, that's a bit dark. Friend page has also been updated again. So many friends. Alright, everyone. Welcome to Club Hermes. We're open for your pleasure. And if you're looking for another store, I know the area so I can point you in the right direction. Hello there. Looking for some... Oh, you're a miner. I naturally call it to anyone who catches my eye. My bad. No friend for list from you. This is where I'm supposed to do my work, huh? I heard that the salary men consider this area a place of healing as well as entertainment. I find that plot to be very interesting. I wonder what they mean by healing. I'd very much like to experience this Japanese custom for myself. 
That sounds dirty. Nishio, you've been here since noon. Uh, as an investor, it's my, part of my job to come to places and socialize. How's that for a convincing reason? Sounds logical on the surface anyway, but really, you're here because it's your hobby, right? <laughs> you're right about that. A lot of de deals can be made over the Xiphone nowadays, and it's super boring staying home by myself. The menu is varied and the bartender is super nice, it's a, so it's a n good place to spend time. Since I have the time and money, there's no r real reason not to hang out here. <laughs> can't argue with that. Hi Ko, it's been a while. Oh hey, yeah, it's been almost a month. Oh, I want to apologize for the other day. Sorry for making you stay up so late. It's always a trial having to deal with belligerent customers. No worries, you did pay me extra after all. You still have some time until your shift, but do you want to start now? Honestly, I I'd really appreciate it if you could start early. I still have to track down that gate Hiragi asked me to find. Sorry, but do you think you can live without me for a little bit longer? Of course, just be sure to come back when you're done with your errands. Oh, recipe. Friend page isn't updated. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so who can cook this one? Hmm, Ko is good at it, everyone else n not so good. Alright, let's continue looking around. Pawn shop. Okay, this person must be involved with the Eclipse. Heh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. I've heard all about you from Yukino, your Ko Tokisaka. And you seem to be Sosuke's grandson too. You know Yukino and Gramps too? Heh, <laughs> oh, we've known each other for ages. But enough of that, we're a pawn shop. We also have some rare items. Rare Eclipse items, that is. And since you're friends with Yukino, I'm willing to give you a special deal on some things. Wait, does that mean... Heh, <laughs> the old man at Kuguraya and the girl from the start camera both know about the Eclipse too, boy. At any rate, we also sell regular merchandise, so come take a look when you have the time. Sure. All these people know about the Eclipse, and this old guy looks shady as heck. And putting Yukino aside, how does he know Gramps? A friend now. Never imagined I'd be doing business with Sosuke's grandson. Heh, <laughs> you have some, the same eyes he did when he was young. Okay, well, Nanja. See, I can turn my Cure Potion 1s into Cure Potion 2s. Hmm. Mead. Twilight Crystal. That's a little too expensive, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I have to make some really high level stuff to get this V Navi. Probably not worth it right now, but maybe when I'm... Maybe later on. Fortitude. Hmm. Interesting. Ups movement speed, more effective on slower characters. Huh. Should I bar trying to make hers? Okay, actually, I end up making the Reiko one after all. We should go another way. The Yakuza offices are just up ahead. I really don't want to get chased by a bunch of gangsters, so let's get out of here. It's not in the real world. We're probably nowhere near as strong as Yakuza's like Kiryu. Arcade Oasis. Back alley. Wait, what? Vending machine. Sadistic soda. Huh. There's no point in wandering around the entertainment district, so let's not waste time going there. Let's try to enter the Yakuza place from this side. Guess not. Back door. Hmm. You must have been asking for me lately. 
I finally get hired, uh, got hired at nights too. I'm never going to become the number one host at this rate. Your uh, roaming friends, like roaming Pokemon, you have to keep track of where they're going at all times, so you can get their entries. Should I play safe and go with the short odds? Now I might as well go all in. Why am I overthinking this? I'm gonna roll with both. Horse racing? I think they were selling tickets somewhere near here. Uh, Mr. Goro never showed up. No teacher in their right mind would go karaoke with their students. But you're actually totally into how uptight he is, right? Uh, yeah. Marie usually gets bored of things quickly, but she sounds pretty serious. It doesn't matter to me either way. At least I'll be entertained. I'll just have to be patient. I'll still get to meet up with him if I go to school. I'm going to sing my heart out today and get rid of all my stress. Hmm. Karaoke? I can't go in. Hmm. Okay, now I'm in the arcade. Welcome to the Game Center Oasis. Please consider it a space to relax and have fun. You can purchase game medals and also exchange them for prizes here. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's not happening. We're not buying that many. Let's buy 100 for now. That's a safe bet. Currently running a tie-in promotion with the popular anime Magical Girl Lisa. We have games starring her and her arch rival Reen. Please give it a try. Why is Reen her rival? Wouldn't that one girl from the Lacrosse Club be her rival instead? Ease versus Cold Trails of Cold Steel and Dark Chronicle? I don't know. But who would win? Considering Adol actually finishes off most of the bosses in this game, he would probably win. Blaze? Hey, it's time to find our global idiot to check down. Now then, time for round two. Oh, uh, uh, Mel's already? Man! I want to play a fishing game over there, but those punks are scary. Maybe I'm just worrying for nothing? Click, click, clack, clack. Why do you have a face? Damn it. Damn this stupid machine. Is that a middle schooler? Not bad, he's pretty good at that. He has been added to my friend page for some reason. Which one do I try? There's so many. Gates of Avalon would be... Pr I can even do this crane machine. Oh man, a crane game. Just need to pump in a few tokens, just like all the machines. I've never won anything from any of these types of games. Oh well, everyone needs a totally pointless yet challenging goal in their life. I should give it a whirl. How to play. Choose what place you want to try for from the displayed lineup. Next, choose how to get it from the list of options. The grammar is the desired price if you choose the correct how to get option. The number of options will decrease the more times you play. Keep trying and don't give up. The available prices will change every time you exit and enter the arcade. New prices are added periodically. Check near shop info post for the latest prizes. This sounds so complicated. Cobalt plush. Ugh. Mishy. Fifty. All right. How should I do this? F it. I'm gonna wing it. Oh come on! Is there a guide for this? Okay, here I just need, I just need to keep trying. There's no real strategy. Grab by the butt. Let's see. I hope we can get it. What? I got it on the first try. Heh, great success. 
should she? Okay. I already have Mishy, so let's go for Pom. Poms don't have arms. Straight on, grab the head. Ah. This is harder than it looks. Try to hook the tag. Ah. Uh. Damn it, I need to get more credits. I only got the palm plush. <laughs> Great success. Which one should I go for? Hey, the lineup changed a bit. Kobold. Probably won't get it. These things, this is really, really safe scummy. I'm just gonna have to farm a lot of tokens through other means. This is harder than it looks. How many tokens do I even have right now? Vantage Masters, who barely played this game before. I have other stuff to take care of, so let's give it for now. Really? Maybe I'll be able to play it later? Explosive fishing with Demon Prince Reen. They're showing it on the screen now. Demon Prince Reen's secret hobby is fishing. In order to quell the evil lurking in his right arm, he sets out to conquer the fishing sites in the Neverworld. Ugh, oh, my right arm trembles. This must be your, the right place. Fish, your souls are mine. Well, the gameplay looks fun enough to overlook the main character, I guess. Ouch. Sorry, Reen. Might try it out when I have a sec. Wait a minute, what? Who just got added to my friend page? You're my friend now? Really? A demon prince helped out in plunging the world into darkness. There's unlimited power within his right arm. Hmm, intermediate anglers only. The payout for fishing. So it costs 10 to get it to try. How do I play again? Check the fit. Use the fish option to catch your lord. S A to hook. I have to hit the wrong match the indicated button. Successful, the fishing percentage will change based on the fish size. The more fish you catch, the better your chance of a boss fish appearing. Catching a boss fish or changing locations will reset the fishing percentage. Consider yourself warned. Oh no, I have to be super exact for it, don't I? Shit. That's... Oh, how? What the? I pressed. Oh no, it's because my X and Y's. They got mixed up. I'll have to rearrange my controller for this, won't I? Well, I did eventually figure out the fishing minigame, but it required me to redo my controller setup a bit. I have to change it back, of course. Oh, there's a new game. Let's see, Gate of Avalon. Use the card game Blade at your nearby store or play online with Xiphone version users. Players will be matched based on skill level for endless opponent options. Hmm, sounds interesting. The rules seem pretty simple. Maybe I should try it out. Hopefully this one will be more uh, button, uh, button step agnostic. Seriously, I can't believe they programmed it like that. They should have accounted for people swapping their button layouts. Blade. One-on-one -one card game. Some of your cards are greater than your opponent's card, you'll switch turns. You also press your opponent's sum, or if you run out of cards to play, you lose. If the sum is the same, the cards will be clear and you'll draw from the deck again. If the last card dealt is cleared, the game will end the tie. The opponent you can select will be limited to your level or under. Fight opponents with the same level and win two consecutive times to level up. New opponents will be available as you progress the story. Two consecutive wins? That, that's a little difficult. I mean, I can barely handle one consecutive win since there's a bit of luck involved. i try to get the first turn.
Do I... I guess if they're unknown, I won't be able to... Uh, hmm. So it costs 100 metals just to play this damn thing? Really? That's way too much. Ah, match! Alright, let's play. Well, I can see why you play. Hey, you seem familiar. Hey, I'm the campaign girl from Star Camera. I just started this iPhone version of this game, so I play during break sometimes. Ah, uh, gotcha. I don't really install game apps. Do you also have to spend money to play? Oh, well, let's have a match then. Huh, <laughs> sure. Growing opponent levels. The opponent you can you can select will be limited your level or under. Play opponents with the same level and win two consecutive times level up. New opponents will be available as you progress the story. <laughs> Springs back memories. Let's see if I can remember how to play. Hmm. I think there's some rules with the with these special cards. If they're the only cards left in my hand, that's a lose, I think. Bolt! Mirror. Damn, I lost. I should save my... My mirror did not save me. She had too good a hand. I'm reloading that one. Okay, this is the second round. Let's hope I can do it this time. I have a force card, but even now... Damn it. Hmm. It was really nasty. Let's test the wires with bolt. Hmm. Still. Please don't have a mirror. Okay, good. Now I leveled up. No, 140 should be enough for me. Hmm. Okay, now I can- I qualify to fight a level 2 enemy, but... Oh no, it's her! The blacksmith girl! What dialogue do I get for fighting you? Oh, I'm Ko? Ah, you're from Kuguraya! Mayu, right? I didn't know you played this game. Um, I just started, to be honest. My friends at school taught me how to play, so I installed it. Huh, so she does do some regular kid stuff. Me Mayu, are you using a terminal at your shop? Oh, will I get in trouble for it? Please keep it a secret from Grandpa. He'll probably be playing too, won't he? Uh, sure. Anyway, let's play. <laughs> be gentle with me. That's not something you should say so casually. Shoot, I forgot. What is with the one card do again? Hmm. Does it let me restore something that was destroyed with Bolt or something? Alright, someone got this on my first try! Keep the payout. Return to lobby. Hmm. So I went three times in a row, I can get the biggest payout, huh? That took tough order. 
Magical girl Elisa. This is the hero heroine of some anime that June or Saburo probably like. Fairy Mona's friend Mishi is here to ask for the help of magical girl Elisa. After many things happened, the evil Mishi plotted to overthrow Elisa into an uh, to throw Elisa into an alternate dimension. Fight me if you want to escape. God, seems I must. Willing the mysterious hammer, Elisa rises to the challenge to save Mishi. Hmm, seems interesting enough. I'll give it a go sometime. Yeah, I don't want to do the fishing one, mostly because, it, 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 mostly because, well, I, I have to redo my controller setup every time. Even if it is, but it does have the biggest payout, so maybe I should do it. Guide. Earn points with hitting evil Mishi or king evil Mishi. Hitting the good Mishis will cause you to lose points. Avoid hitting innocence and aim for a high score. <laughs> so, what's my payout? No. Ah, get out of here, good Mishi. Ah, moving around is kind of awkward in this game. Oof. Oh man, they're faster! Time's up! Perfect! So they get perfect bonus 10. Score... times 2... So only get 20. Hmm. Huh. Probably try to earn difficulties off screen. Ooh, giant sword tail! Anyways, once you get the boss, the all the percentages resets. So there's no points. So you might as well just save and cut your losses. Basically, if you want to do the, if you want to do this mini game, you have to start with a lot of money so you can eventually deplete all the common fish and then eventually get the big fish. Yeah, this one I'm gonna have to come back with at least ten thousand, maybe more, just to be safe. Way more, seriously. It's really hard to break even here. Those rock eaters are gonna fuck me up. Arch Tyrant! Ugh. I bet the button sequences are even more complicated. Finally, the Arch Tyrant is mine! Ugh, that took a while though. I had to get to like 5% or higher. Hmm, what's- is that you're holding, Tokisaka? Oh, this? I went at the arcade a while ago. I show her the plush. The ones from the- uh, from that crane machine. What? Hmm, Misaki? Nothing, never mind. It's true, everyone can decide for themselves what they want to bring, but you got- get one warning. I don't ever want to see you pull that soft fluffy thing out in front of me again. There will be consequences if you do. Do I make yourself clear? Yes. She hates plushes that much. I guess I should be careful. Hold on a moment, Tokisaka. That fluffy thing. I kinda got too many of them. Several pushes from the bag. Q. Q? Nothing! I probably warn you, Tokisaka. Don't bring something like that out in front of me. Or I shall. Or I shall. She'll fawn all over the plushes, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Just be careful next time. Even I have my limits. What? Nothing, never mind, just put it away. Right. She hates plushes, right? <laughs> guess she'll acknowledge- I guess you know, she won't do anything until you get the full set, but the full set is not available until later chapters. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus, Please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.